Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video, we'll be exploring an incredible new tool that can help you create stunning websites with ease. The WebNode Website Builder can help you showcase your online portfolio, whether you're a small business or a freelancer or an individual looking to just to showcase your portfolio online, WebNode offers a really powerful yet user-friendly platform to bring your website vision to life. With WebNode, you don't need to be a coding expert or hire a professional web designer. Its intuitive um, drag and drop editor allows you to effortlessly customize your website's design, layout, and content. You can choose from a wide range of professionally designed templates that are responsive, ensuring your site looks fantastic on any device. So whether you're just starting out or looking to revamp your existing website, WebNode provides the flexibility and functionality that you might need. Join me as we just dive into the world of WebNode and discover how the website builder can empower you to create a professional website that truly stands out. So let's get started. What you want to do is go into the WebNode website and click the link below uh, to get there. Then you want to click on the get started for free to actually start getting set up with an account. The first thing that you want to do is enter the name of your website. and you want to register with an email address or password, you can continue with Facebook um, or Google, or you can just register um, like this, like so as well. And WebNode will start setting up your account. So now WebNode will ask you what kind of project that you're gonna create, um, whether it's a website to promote your business, um, an online store type website or a blog. Um, so what you wanna do is just pick the one that's closest to your uh, project type as that way webnode will set first do the initial setup set up using the features that you'll you'll need in this example we're going to create a simple blog uh, portfolio website so we're going to click on blog next it'll ask us to pick a template so as you can see webnode offers a wide range of templates that serve as the foundation for your website design these templates are professionally designed and to cater for various industries styles and purposes you can see in the beginning, uh, you can filter by the type of industry that you are currently looking for. So there's travel and tourism, food and restaurants, sports and health, things like that. Uh, they have a really diverse collection of templates ranging from business oriented designs to create portfolios, e-commerce stores, personal blogs and more. With over 100 templates to kind of choose from, you're likely to find a design that suits your specific need. What's also really good about WebNode templates is that all of them are built with responsive design principles, meaning that your website will automatically adjust its layout and appearance to fit different screen sizes, ensuring optimal viewing, viewing experiences on desktop, computer, tape, tablets, and smartphones. While the templates provide a starting point, WebNode allows you to fully customize the design to align with your brand or personal style. You can modify colors, fonts, backgrounds, and images, as well as rearrange or add specific elements to create a unique look and feel for your website. And they offer, offer temp also offer templates tailored to specific industries to on purposes. So in this example, we are gonna look for um, a website to suit our business needs. And what we can do is we can preview each of them before actually making a final decision. So for example, if you hover over one of the uh, template selections, you can just click on preview and it'll show you a preview of what that template's gonna look like. Um, and you can preview it on desktop and mobile as well. And then once you're happy with the choice that you have, you can click on choose template to get started. So the next thing that you want to do is enter the contact information for anything that you need for your story for setting that up. And you want to you want to enter details like your phone, email, you can enter your VAT number. Um, if you have a physical address, you can add your physical address as well. And then once you have everything filled in, then you can uh, just sit back and wait for WebNode to start setting up your account, your website with the template that you've chosen. It's worth noting that some advanced customization options like modifying the HTML or CSS code might require a higher tier premium plan, but even with the basic customization tools provided, you can achieve visually appealing results and professional looking websites using WebNode templates. When selecting a template, you want to consider your website's purpose, target audience, and the overall aesthetic that you want to convey. You want to browse through the available templates, preview them, choose, them, choose the one that best aligns with your vision, and remember that you can always customize and personalize a template to make it uniquely yours.
So this is the website all set up. So you can see um, it's in this kind of editing mode where if I hover over things, certain things will get selected. But um, you can see everything is being set up here. So, so when you first get started with your website, what you want to do is first change the colors and the branding being used. And this is because you may already have a brand palette in mind that you wanted to use or, or one that already exists um, to match any kind of media that you might have. So you want to make sure that the website also matches that as well. So what you want to do is go into settings and you're looking for the design element as well. And you can see here you can change the website colors, fonts, layout buttons and things like that. First thing that we're going to do is change the colors. And we're going to set the overall complementary color of our website and you can either use the default template colors or you can use one of the colors um, laid out here and you want to just make sure that it is the color that you'd like and then if you click into advanced settings you can decide where you want to use the complementary color so this can be maybe in your menu maybe you want to use that in front of your subheadings and your headings um, and you can decide what kind of color palette that you want. So right now this is the dark uh, metal, so we can use um, a different color palette if you want, and then your site will then update to use the color palette that you've select selected. Next thing you wanna do is save changes, and then up next is the font. So again, we go into settings, design, and then go into website fonts. So this is the font that's currently using and what we're going to do, we're going to pick a font that uh, actually works well with our branding. Um, as you can see, it's two fonts. So there's like the main font, which is used for the headings and subheadings, and then you have the body font as well. So it's a font pairing essentially. And then what you can do is go into advanced settings and you can actually just decide on the spacing, the font weight, sizing, things like that. And then you want to click on save changes to save everything. So next step we can do is actually build an actual section um, for the page. So for example, this is our home page and maybe you want to add like a sort of text page as well, text section just above the blog um, to add a little introductory. So what we can do is we can click on the plus and we essentially can add a section. Now there's different ways to add a section. You can add a completely blank section and fill it with the elements that you want, or you can look at the pre uh, designed templated sections. So if you know, for example, the section that you want to build will have an image uh, on one side and text on the other, they do have a text and image uh, format. And just means then it saves time from having to build everything from scratch. You just add the format, the template, how you want it, and then just change the content. So for example, to change this content, I'm going to highlight this text um, and then just change the actual written text. And then I'm going to click on this plus here and add a, another element and I'm going to add uh, another basic text block and going to write some content here to fill in the gap here. And I can keep going, I can add more and more sections or elements to fill in this section, um, whether it's file, HTML, blank form, a line, things like that. And then if I wanted to edit the image, for example, I can click on the image and click on edit and I can either replace the image, so click on replace. I can use one of the stock images that I have or I can upload one of my own images. And that's really it. If I hover over the section, there's a little settings uh, part here for the section and that allows me to change the section background and add some color. Um, but overall, it's really easy to just create a new section um, and then just add uh, different layout to it as well. If I wanted to add a heading layout, um, I can, and all I need to do is change the background and change the heading as well. To add another page, um, all I'm going to do then is go onto the pages and I can click on add page and it'll add sort of some templated pages. For example, I want to add an about us page and I'm going to choose about us and then just create that as well.